Hey guys, VT here, and got some beta footage for you. I know, don't we all love betas? We all love betas. And I got the God of War Ascension beta, thank you to the online game thing, whatever, that uh, you're supposed to play or something. I don't know, I got a code, and I put it in, and it worked. And it was about a gig and a half with about uh, another half gig of updates, 1.07. And, uh, so what you see in the background is just pretty much random gameplay footage and everything. I'm going to put everything up, uh, individually, some character customization, um, and whole gameplay rounds, uh, in themselves. So you can see them all there. So I'm probably going to hopefully get about five videos here, because I have, are you ready for this? I have my new computer. It, it is built, it is put together, and it is a beast. And I'm ready to render out some videos quick as lightning, man, let me tell you what. Um, but that's besides the point. We're here to talk about God of War Ascension Beta, and that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully it won't take too long, because I know you guys just want to know what's up with this thing. Uh, big hype around it. IGN is raving about it. Everyone says it's really good. And I'm going to give you the 4 one of my first impressions of what it actually is like. Now, right away, you start off with a cool little intro thing, a little tutorial, and you pledge your allegiance, which, um... Not gonna lie, it's kind of pointless. You can you can change your allegiance at any time in the game, so it's just kind of you know give you some background for it. Whatever, I guess it's it's kind of weird. I don't know. I think I think it's a little overdone. I think you're just gonna be like, oh, this guy. Okay, cool. But it's it's a nice little tutorial thing to teach you how to play the game, which is good. Um, actually, that's the only tutorial you're gonna see in the beta. The other ones, yeah. Uh, uh, the whole gameplay modes, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Like, kill people, great. Apparently there's other things you can do that get you more points, um, you know, to, to help win. There are two game modes, by the way. Um, both of them, uh, one of them's uh, free-for-all, you know, four players, and the other one is uh, four-on-four. Uh, both of them are please the gods, pretty much, um, or whatever they're called. Uh, something about pleasing the gods. And, uh, yeah, I don't. I really don't understand what gets more points than what because the text is so small and it blends with the background environment so much that you really, you really can't read it. And especially when you're trying to fight and stay alive, it's pretty difficult to, you know, read all these hints and tutor mini tutorials that are going on. So that definitely needs to get changed. But then again, it is a beta, and what do you, what do you really expect? You know, you, you learn how to play the game, and in the full game, they usually end up having some sort of. You know, here's how the game mode actually works, so I can understand it and win. And I did win one round. Um, well, single at least. I played a few, but well, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, the really cool thing is that the fighting style is really true to God of War. Like honestly, if you've played any of the God of Wars in the past, you're gonna fall right into it. It's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's very brutal, <laughs> which personally I think it could be more brutal. Honestly, there's, you know, there's there could be more in there. It's but it's really awesome. Like the the whole feel of it, the mechanics, you know, all that. It really really works like God of War has in the past, the whole grabbing thing and all that. Um, the way they incorporated it with the uh, player versus player is very interesting. Um, actually, and I'm going to talk about in a second about um, overpowered characters and players, but um, for the most part, actually, the fighting is actually really balanced, and I feel that it works really well for what they had to use and for what they wanted to use with it. Um, with that being said... I'm going to cover something in a little bit here that might change your views on the whole thing, just a little bit. Um, like I said, there are two battle modes um, in the beta. There's also a grayed out option, which is capture the flag. Uh, so that's interesting. We can't obviously play that yet, but, you know, we'll get there. And the, the four alliances, you can put yourself to one of four gods at any single time. And um, there are Hades which you don't get in the beta, as well as Poseidon, which you don't get in the beta, but Zeus and Ares you get in the beta, and that's pretty much, you know, like, thunder and fire, respectively. And they all have the, you know, there's little magics that are specific to them, and different items and all that, and that leads us to the character customization. Um, the character customization is actually really cool. Um, it's not as crazy as you might, it's not customization like Call of Duty, but um, it's more than just a standard, you know, pick a fighter and go. You actually get different to pick different types of armor, legs, um, chest, and helm, and the way you get these are either by leveling up or by collecting them in rounds, which is actually really cool. Uh, new tech and collectibles is kind of nice. You can pull yourself away from the game, the fighting, and go, f you know, find these things in these treasure chests that randomly appear during the match. And uh, you get a random choice of picking a different treasure piece. You collect all the treasure pieces for an armor set, and there you go, you have it. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that there are more in the full game. You know, because there was like five or six helms, and maybe like 
few chess pieces and stuff. There just seemed like there there could be more, um, you know, for each alliance, I suppose. I mean, in you know, in the end, there probably there are a lot because really each character, each um, alliance, each god you pledge yourself to has a different um, armor piece of their own that you can't you can't use Zeus's armor piece if you're pledging Ares, you know, like that. But, um, and you can see in some of the videos here that I, I do switch between them. You can switch between them any time in the menu, really. But they're independent characters. Like, you level up one character who's going to be a different level than, like, Zeus if you're leveling up Ares, you know. Um, and then you also get different magic, of course, for each one. That's, you know, whatever. Um, obviously. And then there's different relics, which are pretty much like passive abilities. And there are different items, which are active abilities. And each one of those completely differs for each of the alliances, which is really cool. Definitely, you know, changes the way you want to play the multiplayer, which is really nice. And uh, then, of course, there are different weapons, but from what it looks like, uh, the weapons aren't related to the gods at all. You can pick whatever weapon you want for whatever god and just work on leveling it up. Um, so that that's pretty cool. I'm guessing that there... I didn't look into this too much, but I'm guessing that there's, like, Zeus starts you off with a hammer, so he probably has a really good hammer that uh, the airy side wouldn't have, but you can still use hammer, something like that. Not entirely sure. Probably the case, though. Um, Alright, let's get to the thing that I really want to talk about. Um, there are overpowered characters, players in this game, and I'm not saying, like, oh, this, you know, this character, like, Zeus is overpowered compared to Ares. No, 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 no. I'm saying the more you level up, the more overpowered you are. Whoa. Did that just make sense? It did make sense, because that's usually how it works. But in most games, there's some sort of, you know, like Call of Duty, like, okay, you level up, you get all these cool guns and stuff. Well, if you're still a level, you still have a pretty good fighting chance because a lot of the guns are pretty balanced, you know, it's a lot of skill-based type thing. Um, you know, same with, like, PlayStation All-Stars. You know, I've just been playing the hell out of that game recently, and sure, you level up a lot. You're, you're getting better with the character, you, you know, you're not getting better shit for the character, you're just getting better with them. Um, this game, not so much. You level up, you're gonna get a lot of good shit. Your armor, your health, your defense, your uh, strength, everything is going to skyrocket, right? And you're going to have all this magic and all this badass abilities and items and all that shit. And people coming in, they don't have jack shit. You're going to get comboed once. Not only because they're better with their character, which they are. They deserve to combo the hell out of you because they've been practicing more, obviously. But the amount of damage they now do with that one combo will instantly kill you. And I got a match here, and you're going to see some of that in the background here, but I want you guys to watch it. Um, I'm going to put a link to it. I won't put a link to it. You guys got to find it. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Um, and I get my ass handed to me by two guys that clearly have been playing the beta for a while today. Um, this is the first day it came out, and they've been playing it for a lot, and I just got my ass whooped. Like, th there was nothing I could do. My health was a lot lower than theirs. My defense and attack was a lot lower than theirs, and they just... You know, I didn't stand a chance. It was it was terrible. It's almost no fun. And that's actually why I stopped playing. It was because I, you know, you, you get in a fight against one-on-one -on -one and someone, even if they are better than you, it doesn't matter when two hits knock you down to almost 10% or less health, you know? And so that thing really needs to be addressed. The really bad thing is, the only way to address it with how the character customization and progression is, is with a better matchmaking system. Um, matching characters or players of equal rank with each other, which in the beta, of course, yes, it's going to be difficult. I recognize that. There's only so many people with the beta. But um, I just hope they get a chance for full game. I don't have much faith because uh, matchmaking... Um, I have yet to find a game with good matchmaking. So, yeah, got to watch out for uh, players that have been playing a while. Expect to be extremely annoyed by, uh, by players that you just have no hopes of defeating. You, you really don't, you know. Your your attacks aren't going to do much to them, and they're not going to take much damage from you anyway. So, that's that. Oh, this is pretty much... That's actually pretty much all I wanted to talk about, to, to be completely honest. Um, it is a lot of fun. I did I did have fun playing. You know, it definitely takes some getting used to. It's a little different than the God of War in the past, because you're not some overpowered beast. But nonetheless, I think the concept is really cool. I think the teamwork was a lot of fun. I wish there were better tutorials for the beta, and hopefully that'll be in the game, so they actually teach you how to play the game modes to win, because otherwise I have no fucking clue what's going on. Uh, there needs to be better matchmaking, much, much, much better ma matchmaking. Um, and the in-game text needs to be fixed, because some chests doesn't look like you can open them, but you can, and then there's some hints on the top right somewhere, but the thing's so goddamn small I can't even see it, you know, and that's saying something, because I got 2015 vision, alright, both eyes, so suck it. Um, and hopefully there's a party system. 
There's online. There's matchmaking. Give me a fucking party system, alright? I want to team up with my buddies and whoop some ass. Some demigod ass. So, that's that. Um, like, comment, rate, subscribe. Check out the videos of the beta. I'm going to be uploading them hopefully all day. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.